So we came up to Pompano Beach today to jump on the latest Arth Boats 333 with triple 300 Rs, absolutely loaded with JL Audio and Clarion sound components and built as a show boat. Let's take a look around, let us know what you guys think about this one. So let's start off in the bow area. As you can see, it's a quite the ample entertainment space back here. You have tall gunnels on this boat. So you got a great backrest here. Forward seating on this one. Velcroed upholstery opens up some storage. There you go. So on top of the extra seating, you got that storage for life jackets and things you don't really want to access very much. And close this off, the sound system up here in this forward zone is phenomenal with the Clarion sound system. And you got cup holders in this little indention area, which is nice. We'll pop this open and you have access to your fresh water and your uh, pumps for your boxes there as well and some of the plumbing. So easy to access. It's not a fish box space, a little bit of storage and then access to some of those mechanicals. We'll crack this open here. This one in particular has over 30 speakers. Check out the amplification system they have here. They're gonna put a plexiglass cover on this that they have not done yet and make this kind of a showpiece. So definitely something we have not seen before. Very cool how they did that. So they have C-Deck all on, on the uh, cap here, which gives you extra traction, very nice. You got a windlass here in the forward anchor locker and it's a massive lo locker as well if you need to throw a buoy or fenders, anything. Any, of that, any sort of thing like that, you have plenty of room for it. And let's work our way towards the uh, console area. So let's take a look at the hard top right here. Very nicely done. As you can see, there's separate pods holding a ton of Clarion speakers. You got these towards the bow. These up here, which are angled towards the water. If you're hanging out at a sandbar or something like that, usually these underneath the gunnel do not resonate over to the water. So these are the ones that are gonna do the work and it's gonna make a huge difference. So they have a nice enclosure here as well, keeping you protected from the elements while you're driving the boat. And they have all kinds of little features here with different upholstery and three-dimensional uh, accents there, which make it kind of cool with lighting. Let's take a look inside the console cabin. As you can see you got your sink, head, and a small berth. Access to your rigging and a good amount of headroom. Let me jump in there real quick and show you what it's looking like. So there you go, I mean, you got plenty of room to spare. I'm not a huge guy, but that works. Access to your MFDs right there, open up to your rigging. And actually, if you look across here, they even went as far as putting a fire extinguishing system, which God forbid something was to spark in here, that thing would actually pop and put out the fire for you. So it's a little cheap insurance that they put standard on these boats. You got your battery switches, and then finally, uh, a place to lay down and relax if you wanted to take five for a few. So we're here at the helm, very comfortable space. They got Garmin MFDs, more C-Deck up here on the console. You can see that enclosure, how nice it is. That lighting, giving you a real nice accent here at night. Your custom switch panel, throttle, push button start, fusion head unit, VHF everything you need and nothing you don't. So taking a look at the helm seats, these are adjustable, making it obviously very comfortable if you wanna put this thing in autopilot and just sit back and cruise, or if you're gonna do some more performance stuff, this is usually the comfortable spot where you can kind of pin yourself in. So you have both options. Check out right underneath here, you have two massive 12 inch subwoofers by JL Audio, just so you can get a gauge of size. And those are the loudest sounding subwoofers we have ever heard. Uh, throughout the marine industry. So imagine that bouncing through here, 
adding to the highs and the mids up in the console and then everything you have along the hull sides as well. The sound is absolutely phenomenal, which I'm sure you're not gonna be able to catch through video, but take our word for it. So making our way over to the cockpit, you have an entertainment space here with sink, cup holders, a nice view towards the bow if you wanna just hang out here and ride with some storage, little trash compartment, cooler space right there and a full bench seat here on the transom, which is an option. You can pop this open right here and that gives you access this way to your bilge area. So you can take a look in there and see quite the ample space. You can jump in there and have plenty of room to do everything you need to do. Close this up and you're good to go. Let me pop open one of the boxes here on these so you can take a look at that. So obviously you have these port and starboard. Get a look at the finish work underneath the hatches here. So you can also do some fishing or store some gear if you want to run across to the islands. Plenty of room for all of that. We'll finish off with the triple Mercury Racing 300Rs. Push this boat up to 72 miles an hour on this one in particular. So incredible power plant. And then you got a good transom space to jump in and out of the water if you're at the sandbar and a door here to make all that easy. So overall, beautiful boat. They did an excellent job on this one. All the extras are phenomenal. Can't wait to see this thing at some of the events and shows they plan to put it in. So if you guys enjoy this content, please subscribe, like, pass it to your friends, check out Arth Boats for any questions. Send any that you need over to us and we'll gladly help you out. My name is Alan with Center Consoles Only.